Hey everyone, how are you doing? In this video, I will talk about long former model and in the next video that I will probably do tomorrow, uh, there I will implement a long former model on a Kaggle competition dataset. So the long former model has made a significant contribution to the world of natural language processing by enabling the efficient processing of long input sequences such as those found in documents or long paragraphs. Prior to the development of the long former, processing for such long sequences with self-attention mechanisms was computationally intractable due to the quadratic complexity of the self-attention mechanism. So this limited the scope of application for models based on self-attention such as BERT and GPT. And so after a long former came, its architecture has been adopted and extended to other models in the transformer family, such as reformer, performer, and lineformer, which have further improved the efficiency and effectiveness of large scale language models. Now, long former's attention mechanism is a drop in replacement for the standard self attention and combines a local windowed attention with a task motivated global attention. This combination of attention types encodes inductive bias about the task and allows long former to build full sequence representation for prediction. The long former model's attention mechanism is designed to enable efficient processing of long sequences. It differs from standard self-attention mechanism in few key ways. Uh, let's look into them. The first one is a sliding window attention. So instead of attending to all positions in the input sequence as in standard self-attention, the long former attends only to a sliding window of adjacent positions. This reduces the computational complexity of the attention mechanism from ON square to ON, where N is the length of the input sequence. Now, next one concept in long former is uh, local and global attention. The long former uses a combination of local and global attention to allow the model to attend to both nearby and distant positions in the input sequence. Local attention is used within the sliding window while global attention is used to attend to positions outside the window. The local attention is primarily used to build contextual representation while the global attention enables long former to process documents of thousands of tokens or longer by scaling linearly with sequence length, unlike the standard self-attention which scales quadratically with sequence length. Uh, and then the next concept in long former is sparse attention. The long former uses sparse attention to further reduce the computational, com com computational complexity of the attention mechanism. Instead of attending to all positions within the sliding window, the model only attends to a subset of positions based on a learned pattern of which positions are most relevant. And overall, these modifications to the attention mechanism allows the long former to process much longer sequences than standard self-attention models by attending only to a sliding window of positions. The model can scale to sequences of tens of thousands of tokens without running out of memory or becoming computationally intractable. Now, uh, can the long former be used for task beyond character level language modeling? And if so, uh, what are some examples? Well, uh, long former can be used for a wide range of document level NLP tasks beyond character level language modeling. The paper uh, that uh, was published in 2020 presents experimental results on several such tasks, including long document classification, question answering, and uh, uh, co-reference resolution. Additionally, the authors present LED, an encoder-decoder variant of long former for modeling sequence-to-sequence -sequence task and achieve state-of-the-art results on archive long document summarization task. Therefore, long former is a versatile and can, you, can be used for various natural language processing tasks that require processing long documents. Now, to come back again to the main concept of long former, which is uh, about the sliding window. So the sliding window employs a fixed size window attention surrounding 
each token where each token attends to a fixed number of tokens on each side within the window using multiple stacked layer of such windowed attention results in a large receptive field where top layers have access to all input locations and have the capacity to build representations that incorporate information across the entire input similar to convolutional neural network that is CNN and the computational complexity of this pattern is uh, of the order of O n by W where n is the sequence length and W is the window size. A sliding window attention is designed to capture local context effectively while enabling long former to process long documents very efficiently. Now the sliding window mechanism is uh, is not a new one. It has been used extensively in other neural network architecture and is a common technique in signal processing and computer vision. In NLP, it has been previously used in models such as uh, Transformer XL and Sparse Transformer. However, the long former was the first model to use the sliding window mechanism specifically to enable efficient processing of long input sequence in a transformer based model. Under the sliding window mechanism, long former divides the input sequence into overlapping windows of fixed size and applies self attention only within each window as well as a small number of attention heads that attend globally to the entire sequence. The window size and stride are hyperparameters that can be tuned depending on the task and the length of the input sequence. Alright, uh, that pretty much wraps up this video and stay tuned because tomorrow I will publish another video that will implement uh, the long former on a Kaggle competition dataset. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.